moving ahead with the last part that is performing step number four and step number five together so as <clears throat> you are able to see over here using copy and paste method copy the formula in another cell so how to copy we are very much aware about it copy it is nothing but i will press ctrl c then ctrl v select another cell and press ctrl v or select all the cells simultaneously and press ctrl v so you are able to see over here i have done the operation that is copy and paste showing you one more time as how to do it using copy and paste method we are very much aware as how to copy it in order to copy it we are making use of a command called as control c done that means over here i will be making use of a command called as control c and then i will be control c it is done then select the entire cells where you require to paste the formula and then press control v you are able to see that the formula has been copy pasted to all that particular cells now step number five what is step number five over here use maximum and minimum function find out the winners and the loser so over here in order to use the maximum functions i will make use of equal to and then this summation sign that is a function sign is there. over there you will be able to get maximum and just drag the range of the cells and press enter then what error is there yes over here there are double brackets so i'm pressing enter and then equal to again go in the functions part go for the minimum and select the minimum formula just increase the size of it make it bold making it 14 so that you are able to see that 38 is the maximum that means amrita i'm just highlighting it with yellow is the min is the maximum whereas kate it is the minimum over here done so if you want to more format it just select the entire cells go for the table and the table and the alignment should be exactly always at the center same for this two uh, table border which table border the first one and the alignment should be exactly at the center so we have done this particular hands-on activity that is activity number two given on page number 26 of your textbook thank you